그래서 이제 조금만 지나가면 바로 그 네. 저희 이제 스튜디오가 있어요. 그냥 강남 스타 6등급과 5등급의 뒤 강남 스타 그게 바로 용감한 It's famous for its youth culture and wacky pop videos. In the land of K-pop and the economic miracle, making it to the top is a national obsession. But there's a flip side to all this fun. Students are coached to the point of exhaustion. 그냥 제가 없어요. 제 자신이 있는 거죠, 뭐. Failure is not an option. 좀더 잘해야 될것 같고 막 그런 좀 심리적 부담감이. The country may be booming, but what's all this pressure doing to the kids? 오빤 강남 스타일. 차 길룡 looks every bit the K-pop star. Sharing the limelight with South Korea's biggest idols, inspiring students as they're about to take their make or break final exams. In education of says South Korea, Cha is a top-ranked maths teacher, and here that makes him a celebrity, with an annual income of eight million dollars. He doesn't actually teach in a bricks and mortar school. He's made his fortune running an online cram school or hagwon. Part of the country's thriving twenty billion dollar. Private education business. 네, 네. 전화하셨어요? 네. We're catching 네. up with Cha on a typical day as he gets ready to record a lecture. 하루에 뭐 인터넷 강의를 두 시간 이상 듣는 애들도 상당히 많기 때문에 같이 있는 시간이 많다고 느끼는 거죠. 우리가 연예인들 보면 뭐 이렇게 가서 말 걸고 싶고 또 이렇게 얘기하고 싶고 이런 것처럼 저희를 보면 아주 이렇게 자기네들이랑 가깝게 자기네들의 어떤 필요랑 그딱 이렇게. 맞아 떨어지는 선생님이거든요. First up, he gets his makeup done. Then the hair. Today it's the firecracker style. Cha says his students, his fans, like it this way, and it's on to his studio for the performance. So this is your office. Yeah, it's impressive. 네, 우리 연구실이고요. 네, 여기 이제 그 있는 대부분의 사람들은 네 수학을 연구하고 또 디자인. Cha has a variety of props, masks, costumes, and wigs he'll wear depending on his mood. Entertainment is a fundamental part of the learning process. Hello. Ah. 졸지 않게 해주려면 제가 좀 이렇게 재밌게 또 여자 가발 쓰고 나오는 거를 또 학생들이 굉장히 재밌어 해요. 안 졸고. 어차피 짧게 들어갈 것 같은데 방송에 들어간다면. But it's a very serious business. Char's main focus is the Seven Edu website, which has three million registrations, and at any one time, three hundred thousand students will be logged on. They pay thirty dollars a month for access. What? 잘 먹었습니다. 수학의 마술사 책일영입니다. He's recorded fifteen hundred hours of maths lectures for all grades, ranging from the conceptual to tips on how to get better exam results. 자. 잘 봐봐. 1차 부등식은 선생님이 어떻게 알아야 됐어? X는 X끼리 모아야 돼. 그리고 Cha wants to revolutionize education, bring it online, and make it much more accessible. 별표. 내가 바쁘니까 하나만 치는데 나머지 한 99개는 너네가 시간 날때 쳐야 돼.
In South Korea, education has become a sought-after commodity. Char 7 Edju is promoted like the latest movie blockbuster. And Cha is building an empire. Ultimately, he plans to go global. In the upmarket area of Gangnam in Seoul, it's 7.30 a.m. and Kim So Hyong is just beginning her day. She's in her critical final year, preparing for the CSAT test or Sonong, an exam that will determine her future. South Korean education is the envy of the rest of the world, regularly topping international tests in maths and literacy. And that's because these students study hard. On average, they'll do 15 hours a day. It's the first lesson of the day. Some of these kids have been at Hagwan's or cram school until 10 or 11 o'clock the night before. So Hyong is a model student at one of Seoul's highest ranking public schools. She's gone from 150th to being in the top five. She regularly meets with her form teacher to make sure she's on track. A place at the right university will mean a good job and hopefully a good marriage. There's little time to hang out with friends. Lunchtime is one of the few opportunities they get to socialise. But friends can also be competitors. For this group, even their best is never good enough. <laughs> <laughs> when school ends at four o'clock, it's not time to go home. The next shift starts and most will go on to cram schools. So Hyong heads off to study on her own. It's tough, but in South Korea, this is normal. She knows just one wrong answer in the CSAT exam can mean success or failure in life. And in preparation, she is tested and retested. She doesn't leave for home until just before 11 p.m. 
실수로 했다 그러면 은 정말 너무 억울해요 눈물도 나고 그런데 뭔가 저는 안 좋은 일이 있어도 금방 잊고 다음 시험에 더잘 보면 되지 이런 생각을 자주 하는 것 같아요 And across Seoul and the country, 100,000 hagwons are about to close. In this street, there's about a dozen hagwons and they're still going on. The government is sending out patrols to try and enforce closing times. And they've even tried to ban hagwons. But with every attempt to try and rein them in, they just seem to come back bigger and stronger. On the weekend, we catch up with Sol Hyung's mum, Nam Son Ju. She's taken the difficult decision not to put her daughter into a cram school. Poor J. U. is making his way to the John Rowe Academy, an elite cram school. He has to make every moment count. Even as he walks to the school, he's preparing for the first test of the day. The 19-year-old was on track for a place at one of South Korea's top universities, but he missed out by just two marks last year. So he's taking the CSAT again to make sure he'll get in this time around. 취직할 때에는 이렇게 지원서들이 쫙 있잖아요. 그러면 지원서 중에서 맨 처음 일단 지원서들을 쫙 바닥에 깔아두고 좋은 대학이 적혀져 있는 지원자들은 한쪽으로 두고 그렇지 않은 지원자들의 그 지원서들은 모두 그냥 쓰레기통으로 버린다 이런 말이 있을 정도로 그래서 다들 좋은 대학을 가려고 하고 그럴 수밖에 없는 것 같아요. Even to get into this cram school is a feat in itself. Only one in 50 pass the entrance exam. Students are tested endlessly and drilled for 12 hours a day. 한번 하나의 시험 그것도 1년에 딱한번 보는 시험의 성적만으로 학생들을 이렇게 가르는 거는 저는 개인적으로 이렇게 그 나름 높은 성적을 가지고 있기는 하, 하지만도 저는 그건 불합리하다고 생각해요. 왜냐하면 제 주변을만 봐도 수능에서 좋은 점수가 나와서 좋은 대학교를 가는 아이들이 있는데 저는 제가 봤을 때는 그런 학생들 중에서도 그 학생이 간 대학보다 낮은 대학에 간 학생들보다 그렇게 뛰어나다고 그렇게 생각하진 않거든요. 뭐 꿈이라는 얘기죠. 근데 꿈인데. 자, 이꿈 내용이 어떻게 되냐면 대부분 이렇죠. 주인공이 어디에 있어 원래? 어, 천상계에 있던 존재야. 그냥 제가 없어요. 그 제가 하고 싶은 모든 뭐 지금 말한 제가 말한 축구하는 거, 뭐 노래 듣는 거, 뭐 가끔씩 원하는 책 읽는 거 이런 모든 것들은 수험 생활을 하면서는 모든 그 주변 사람들이나 다 수험생이 무슨 하면서 뭔가를 하고 싶어도 너는 지금은 그냥 공부만 해야 되라고 하니까 별로 그냥 수험 생활을 하면서 그냥 저는 제 자신을 잃는 거죠 뭐. The cram school has five floors with 20 classrooms on each. there are regular patrols to make sure they all stay awake and that conditions are perfect for studying.
If he's lucky, Jay U will be in bed by midnight, ready to repeat the process again tomorrow. At the subway, he can finally unwind just for a while. All this study and hard work has paid off for the country. From the destitution of the 1960s, it's been transformed into a booming high-tech industrial powerhouse that exports phones, cars and video games. Just over 10 years ago, South Korea joined the trillion dollar club of world economies. Now, it's the 12th largest. For those who don't succeed, there's a tragic cost. South Korea has the highest rate of suicide in the world. It's growing the fastest among 10 to 19 year olds. This is one of the few places that's been set up to save young lives. It's the start of the day at Silam Shelter and two boys who've come in overnight are being introduced. There's a lack of counselling for kids in South Korea. <laughs> Tragically, some see suicide as the only option. This 18-year-old boy ran away from home because he couldn't live up to the family's expectations. In a recent survey, about 50% of the country's teenagers said they had suicidal thoughts and cited school pressure as the major cause. It's not good enough to be brilliant. Students also need to be beautiful. Seoul is the plastic surgery capital of the world. Among top performing students, the kids are looking for something to set them apart. And surgery is the latest thing. The boom in plastic surgery started with notions of Western beauty. But now it's being driven by the doll-like features of the Korean K-pop stars. Oh my God. On graduation, many parents give their children the gift of plastic surgery. A new nose or rounder eyes can give them the edge in the job market. <laughs> 19-year-old Che gi Hei has succeeded in getting into the right university to study hospitality. Now she wants to change her appearance to secure the best job after graduation. Che's mother is paying for her to have her eyes widened.
Dr Lee Young Jun does about eight procedures a day. The most popular are nose jobs and eyelid surgery to make the eyes rounder. There's a pushback now in South Korea against all the pressure being brought to bear on kids. Five hours drive south of Seoul, a bold educational experiment is happening, an alternative school. Taebong School puts the students at the center of learning. Creative thinking and communication are the guiding principles here. <laughs> South Korea is starting to set up dozens of schools like this. Classes are discussion-based, and students are encouraged to come up with their own answers and solutions to problems. It's Jin Sei Han's second year at Taebong. They don't study 15 hours a day here, but 80% of students still get into university, not the top ones, but importantly, do a course they want to do. Sehan says his dream of becoming an architect can be realized here. <laughs> But grinding hard work remains the mantra in most schools. Cha Gil Jung, superstar online maths teacher, epitomizes South Korea's education obsession. Like many, he works 18 hours a day, with little time for his young family. Here, business comes first. In Korea, there is no job in Korea, there is no job in Korea. There is no job in Korea, there is no job in Korea. Yeah.